in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. By the winds which scatter dust, which carry clouds laden with water, which then smoothly speed along and execute the great task of apportioning rainfall. Surely what you are being warned against is true, and the judgment shall doubtlessly take place by the heaven with its numerous forms. Surely you are at variance about the hereafter, though only those who are averse to the truth will turn away from believing in it. Doomed are the conjecturers who are steep in ignorance and heedlessness. They ask, when will the day of judgment be? It will be the day when they shall be scourged by the fire and be told, taste your ordeal, this is what you were seeking to hasten. As for the God-fearing, they shall be in the midst of gardens and fountains, joyously receiving what their Lord will have granted them. Verily, they did good works before the coming of this day. They used to sleep but little by night, and would ask for forgiveness at dawn, and in their wealth there was a rightful share for him who would ask, and for the destitute. There are many signs on earth for those of sure faith, and also in your own selves. Do you not see? And in heaven is your provision, and also what you are being promised. The Lord of the heaven and the earth, this is certainly true, as true as the fact of your speaking. O oh, Prophet, did the story of Abraham's honored guests reach you? When they came to him, they said, Peace. He said, Peace also be to you. You seem to be a group of strangers. Then he went back to his family and brought a fat roasted calf and laid it before them, saying, Will you not eat? Then he became afraid of them. They said, Fear not and announced to him the good news of the birth of a boy endowed with knowledge. So hearing, his wife went forth shouting. She struck her face and exclaimed, A barren old woman am I? They said, As your Lord said, that you shall have a boy. Surely he is most wise, all-knowing. Abraham said, Envoys of Allah, what is your errand? They replied, Behold, we have been sent to a wicked people, that we may unleash a shah of clay stones marked by your Lord upon those who go beyond the limits. Then we evacuated therefrom all the believers, and we did not find there any apart from a single house of Muslims, and we left therein a sign for those who fared a grievous chastisement. There's also a sign for you in the story of Moses when we sent him with a clear authority to Pharaoh. But Pharaoh turned away, showing arrogance on account of his power, and said about Moses, He is either a sorcerer or a madman. He seized him and his hosts and cast them into the sea. He became an object of much blame. There's also a sign for you in the story of Ad when we let loose upon them an ominous wind that left nothing that it came upon without reducing it to rubble. There's also a sign for you in the story of Thamud. They were told, Enjoy yourselves for a while. But they brazenly disobeyed their Lord's command and then a sudden chastisement overtook them while they looked on. They were unable even to stand up or protect themselves. Before all these, we destroyed the people of Noah. They were a wicked people. And heaven, we made it with our own power, and we have the power to do so. And the earth, we spread it out, and how well have we smoothed it. And of everything we have created pairs, perhaps you will take heed. Flee therefore to Allah. Surely I am a clear warner to you from Him, and do not set up 
any deity with Allah. Surely I am a clear warner to you from him. Thus has it been in the past. Never did a messenger come to the nations that preceded them, but they said, He is a sorcerer or a madman. Have they arrived at a common understanding concerning this? No, but they are a people given to transgression. So turn your attention away from them. You shall incur no blame. Do, however, keep exhorting them, for exhortation benefits those endowed with faith. I created the jinn and humans for nothing else but that they may serve me. I desire from them no provision, nor do I want them to feed me. Surely, Allah is the bestower of all provision, the Lord of all power, the strong. The wrongdoers shall receive a portion of the chastisements as their fellows of yore, so let them not rush me. Woe then betide those who disbelieved in that day of theirs, which they are being asked to hold in dread.